Hi, I'm Master Chief Marvin Wells, the Command Master Chief for Pack Carrier. This podcast is for all members of the Coast Guard family. It is designed to provide greater detail of Force Comms value by highlighting the as is and to be mishap process and adoption of field level innovation. In an earlier podcast, Admiral Pukowski introduced the concept that ForceCon will synchronize doctrine, standardization, and training to ensure the best possible force management and allocation system. In addition to ForceCom's role of collecting and refining information and innovation into standardized tactics, techniques, and procedures, ForceCon will improve our mishap system to not only minimize injuries and casualties, but to ensure we quickly learn and incorporate lessons into training and TTP. In review of the mishap response flowchart, you will see a total of 26 factors or decision points are considered often before formal ad action is adopted and implemented. ForceCom will greatly reduce the numbers of factors and decision points in this process. Similarly, ForceCom will drive the process where good ideas from the field are developed into TTP. Staff working on modernization initiatives have prepared this picture of the current mishap system and the future process owned by ForceCom. Water refinement. The future system provides one-stop service. Unvarnished truth from the field will be received by ForceCom decision makers. As the slide depicts, ForceCom streamlines the time required to analyze, correct, implement, and train. It serves as a central repository for positive improvement and innovation. The outdated and inefficient mishap system required collaboration and tracking between CG1, headquarters program staff, the two areas, districts, MLCK, and tracings. The multiple layers of bureaucracy slow us down and hinder our ability to implement positive change. ForceCon will eliminate the unnecessary organizational layers. I would like to provide an example of an idea and recommendation that has not yet fully been adopted due to the existing complex system. This is related to the development of SOP, PQS, and JQR non-standard boats issued to the MSST. While this example was not one that was in response to a mishap, it is an example of proactive ideas that will prevent one. In late 2005, the Combat Rubber Reconnaissance Craft, CRRC, was issued to MSST dive teams. The Coast Guard had never formally used this boat before, so no SOP, PQS, JQR existed. The boatswain at MSSD San Francisco developed a comprehensive PQS, JQR that was compliant with all Commandant requirements and included the PQS, JQR in the unit instruction. I developed a very um, basic um, PQS, JQR for the guys and for the unit here. Uh, that covered the, uh, the basic fundamentals of the, uh, of the craft, including its characteristics, um, as well as um, uh, the, the operating characteristics of it, um, and the biggest part, the, the uh, safety aspect of operating the vessel. MSST San Francisco forwarded this document to other units. About a year later, Coast Guard headquarters became concerned that no PQS JQR existed for the CRRC. MSST San Francisco forwarded the instructions to headquarters. In June 2008, the DOG requested a copy of the PQS JQR after they heard rumors that MSST San Fran had created one. They wanted to adopt it Coast Guard wide. This process took almost three years. With a dedicated doctrine branch, ForceCon would significantly reduce the time it takes for a field innovation to be established throughout the Coast Guard. What previously took three years could be reduced to less than a year. I would like to end by thanking the Coast Guard men and women involved in the two systems I just shared with you and to point out that modernization and the new commands ForceCom, OpCom, DCO, and DCMS will be successful with the motivated and talented men and women we have. Be a force in our change and have a great Coast Guard day.